So before we get into the video today, I wonder if y'all been paying attention to some of the headlines. Check this one. Menace to society. Brutal Gambino hitman will soon be free after 35 years behind bars despite life sentence for a role in 11 murders. It says notorious Gambino hitman Joey Testa will be paroled in April after serving 35 years of a life sentence weeks before Testa's partner, Anthony Center, is also released on parole. Bro, <laughs> bro, 35 years after, man, listen, 35 years, 11 murders, and you was a hitman. <sighs> Things about to get interesting out here in the streets. All right, y'all, so this is the video we checking out. This one is flight passengers captures what no one was supposed to see. Let's check it out. Roughly 100,000 flights take off and land every day all around the globe. That's around 6 million people flying somewhere each day. If you fancy, you can even search up a photo of global air traffic. You'd be surprised just how congested it looks when plotted on a map. That said, it's astounding how there aren't many plane-related accidents. However, there's always a chance you'll end up on a flight that you'll never forget. If you haven't experienced a nightmarish flight yet, Take a look at these clips. From scary turbulence to nightmare passengers, here are 20 scary videos caught on airplanes. Number 20. Near the entrance. Here's a bizarre incident that occurred just last year on Asiana Airlines Airbus A321 in a South Korean flight. As you can see, two men were stuck near an open emergency exit door after a man forced it open. This unusual occurrence took place on an A321-200 aircraft carrying nearly 200 passengers. And, and this is what y'all want me to do. Y'all want me to get on a plane where this possibly can happen and it's nothing I can do about it, but just sit there, lean to the side, try to brace myself on the armrest and hold on? No, no thank you. It happened just as the plane was approaching Daegu International Airport. Imagine you're comfortably seated, perhaps contemplating your arrival, and suddenly, an emergency door flings open. The cabin is thrown into chaos, with passengers' hair whipping about as air rushes in. Now you're probably wondering, what reason could someone possibly have for them to open the emergency exit? Luckily, the man who pulled off the stunt was interviewed, so you don't need to speculate about the reason. The man claimed that he was reportedly stressed due to job loss, and opened the door because he felt suffocated and thought the flight was taking too long. The unexpected and drastic action led to several passengers being hospitalized, though thankfully there were no serious injuries. Following this incident, Asiana Airlines took the precaution of stopping the sale of some emergency exit row seats on their A321-200 jets. Meanwhile, the passenger faced legal consequences for breaking aviation security laws. He was stressed at work, and now he'll be more stressed because of legal matters. Well, that's quite unfortunate. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button. I was not expecting to hear that type of response and explanation as to why he chose to do this to all these people. Then click the notification bell right now. Number 19, rip the door closed. This student pilot had the lesson of a lifetime when the door suddenly opened while he was trying to fix a sensor. He was quick on his feet though as he immediately gripped the door handle and forced it shut. Situation avoided, narrowly. Usually, the chances of this happening on a commercial flight are incredibly slim. After all, airplane doors are designed to be incredibly secure and are essentially locked by the pressure inside the cabin. When cruising at altitude, the pressure inside the cabin is much higher than the pressure outside. This difference in air pressure makes it physically impossible for a human to open the door. How did the man in the first clip manage to open the door? Well, I guess the stress gave him enough strength to open the door. This one, however, was more of a human error. The plane's control triggered the door's opening. But what would happen if an airplane door opened mid-flight? Well, it would lead to rapid decompression. This would be a serious emergency, requiring pilots to swiftly descend to a lower, safer altitude and potentially perform an emergency landing. So next time you're on a flight and someone jokes about opening the door, you can rest assured knowing that it's virtually impossible. Unless you're seated next to a stressed businessman. Then maybe get the attention of the cabin crew immediately. 
Number 18. If he had done that, my heart would have been beating out of my chest. Like, what do you mean? Man, you, now you want me to land the plane while you hold the door? Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I, 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 my hands would have been shaking. Nope. Flight scare. Experiencing turbulence on a plane can be quite a hair-raising experience, especially when you're soaring thousands of feet above the ground in a metal tube. That's precisely what these people experienced. Now this is quite horrifying to watch, especially if you fly frequently. Well, first of all, rest assured that these people are safe. This clip was captured on a Frontier flight in 2019 in a plane from Denver bound for Baltimore. You can see just how panicked people were as the turbulence became stronger. The lights were also dim, and it seemed like there was no crew directing or providing updates about what was happening. Usually, pilots would inform their passengers if they should brace or prepare for stronger turbulence. But that didn't happen in this case. Turbulence is something that comes along with a flight. And for the most part, it's really nothing for you to worry about. Turbulence is caused by sudden changes in airflow, similar to eddies and currents in water. There are several reasons why this might happen, like air moving over mountains, shifts in weather, or colliding air masses of different temperatures. Turbulence happens over something as simple as cool air colliding with warm air. It's rated as light, moderate, severe, or extreme. Thankfully, the majority of turbulence encountered on commercial aircraft is light, and severe or extreme turbulence is rare. But when it happens, it can be quite alarming. Number 17. A gap in the door. Remember what I told you about open doors in a flying plane? Well, this guy probably knows what would happen should the door really burst open. A gap in the door is still something that's pretty alarming. I would probably immediately get the attention of a flight attendant if I noticed something like this. I'd rather falsely report something suspicious than risk a technical issue while flying over 10,000 feet in the air. But if this ever happens to you, what are the chances that a simple gap in the airplane door would lead to something more serious? Well, you've seen- Exactly. And everybody wants to tell me, oh, oh, they thoroughly, thoroughly inspect those planes before they take off. Each time, they thoroughly inspect them. How did this happen? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> I know I'm nitpicking, but so what? So what? This is my life we're talking about. In a pilot land a plane with the emergency exit wide open, so a simple gap shouldn't be a problem. Besides, modern aircraft are engineered with multiple safeguards against such incidents. Uh -uh. The doors are designed to open inward first, making it nearly impossible to open them against the force of cabin pressure. Plus, they're secured with robust electrical and mechanical latches. But just in case it does open, your best bet is to stay calm, fasten your seatbelt, and trust in the skilled hands of the flight crew. If this happened to me, I'd probably avoid planes for a good decade. Yeah. Number 16. Flying UFO While flying at an altitude of over 20,000 feet, a passenger on a flight from Los Angeles captured what looked like a UFO flying near the plane. Now, when we hear about UFO sightings, it's easy to let our imaginations run wild with images of alien spacecraft and extraterrestrial visitors. However, in reality, UFO stands for Unidentified Flying Object. This term encompasses anything in the sky that cannot be immediately identified. More often than not, these objects have earthly explanations. They could be drones, weather balloons, unusual cloud formations, or even optical illusions caused by light in atmospheric conditions. The vast majority of UFO sightings are eventually explained through more mundane phenomena. However, the person who captured this clip firmly believes that what he saw was extraterrestrial. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I say, if these are drones, right, then what does that say about our radar defense systems and, and different things we have in place to detect this stuff? What does that say about us? If we aren't detecting and shooting these things down, what does that say? So, so that's where I give pushback when people say, oh, this, it could be a drone. That's true. And if that's, if it is, what does that say about us? How does that reflect on us? Comments down below. Number 15, police on board. If a plane is diverted, you know that something's amiss. If a plane is diverted and police board the plane minutes after touchdown, you know something serious happened. 
That's the horrific scenario some passengers endured in 2021 on a Hawaiian Airlines flight. The flight, bound for Hilo from Honolulu, had to make an unplanned return to Honolulu after a passenger reportedly harmed a flight attendant. Naturally, the plane crew had to take serious action against the unruly passenger. The passenger, a 32-year-old man, was arrested and faced serious charges for his actions. Such incidents are rare, but when they happen, it can be incredibly inconvenient. Reports claimed that the incident was most likely caused by a misunderstanding. It was a simple argument that brought upon a big ordeal that everyone on board had to endure. That's several hours of their day gone to waste. And for some, time is money. So I guess we should all remember that flight attendants are trained to handle a variety of emergency situations. But dealing with unruly passengers who harm them isn't within their job description. If this happens, police are bound to step in. Number 14. Get him off the plane. Like, you got some nerve, and who do you think you are? Honestly, who do you think you are? Like, get him off the... I was just watching a clip yesterday, or day before yesterday. It don't matter when it was. I was just watching a clip, though, and this dude decided to get on the plane, go in the bathroom, lock the bathroom door, and fire up a cigarette. Fire up the cigarette. They're getting ready to take off, and he needed a cigarette that bad. He went in, went in the bathroom and got one. They seen the smoke coming out the top of the door, waited for him to come out the bathroom, and he come out the bathroom looking like, what, what I do? Like he didn't know he did something wrong, and they had to turn around. Now we gotta turn around. I booked this flight, trying to be on time for somewhere, and now look at us, gonna be late because you decided you needed this nicotine hit real quick. Team, bubblegum menace. I'll admit, I can really be petty at times, but I'm not this level of petty. Let's face it, a six to eight hour flight can be grueling and ridiculously boring at times. For most passengers, even frequent flyers, on-flight screens are essential. But what if the person in front of you is an absolute menace who keeps blocking your screen with her hair? Well, this girl had enough. She kept pushing the girl's hair away, but the woman in question kept putting it back. Now what would you do in this situation? Well, I'd probably ask her to stop blocking my screen with a pleasant smile. But this girl had other plans. Perhaps she's had enough. Or maybe she's already talked to the girl off screen and was ignored. She took quite a drastic action. She stuck chewing gum into the hair flipping passenger's locks. Not stopping there. She cut parts of the hair with nail clippers, inserted a lollipop, and dunked the ends into her coffee cup. This drastic action, seen as a response to what many considered a major social faux pas, sparked a divided reaction on social media. Some believe the girl's actions were justified, but others think she went too far. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Number 13. Footrest. Yep, that's a foot right there. This passenger was pretty upset that her supposed armrest became the passenger's footrest behind her. What would you do in a situation like this? If you ask me, I don't care if your feet are clean. You're not putting them anywhere near me. Hopefully, this woman got help from the cabin crew and got some isopropyl alcohol to wipe her foot rest, I mean, armrest, clean again. Number 12. 20,000 feet in the air. Now, here's another nightmarish clip captured inside Jeez. a plane. If you have yet to experience heavy turbulence on a flight, this might discourage you from flying especially when there's a forecast for challenging weather. I already told you about the science behind turbulence, but I'll tell you more about it. When it comes to turbulence, there's an interesting mix of facts and myth that often surround these bumpy episodes experienced during flights. First off, turbulence is more common than you might think. The National Center for Atmospheric Research reports around 65,000 pilot-reported encounters with moderate or more significant turbulence annually in the United States alone but don't let this number alarm you. Now, diving into the specifics, turbulence is caused by various factors like atmospheric pressure changes, jet streams, air around mountains, weather fronts, or thunderstorms. But here's where it gets interesting. Turbulence isn't as scary as it feels. Yes, it can give an airplane a sudden jolt, but commercial airplanes are built to withstand much more than these jolts. So while you're well, going to have to show me a different example then, because this example right here that I'm seeing of turbulence is scary, and I'm not even on that plane. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. From from my vantage point, looking, that looks scary, terrifying. Next flight might not be entirely bump free. Rest assured that it's still a safe way to travel. The aviation industry continuously works on improving turbulence detection and mitigation, making your journey as smooth as possible. However, if you scream when experiencing something like this clip, I really won't blame you. Number 11. Feet on the screen. This clip took the internet by storm when it was first published. Need I say more? I think this video is pretty self-explanatory. We don't have specific details about this passenger, but his behavior is unsettling. Imagine you're touching your screen while eating, not knowing that a stranger just used his toes to navigate the system. This is why sanitizer and isopropyl alcohol are essential. You can never really trust strangers these days, huh? This is definitely a sight that would make anyone do a double take, me included. What would you do if you saw this on your flight? Would you try to get the attention of the cabin crew? Or would you remain seated in disdain? Let me know in the comments. This incident highlights hygiene and etiquette in shared spaces like airplanes. It reminds us to be mindful of our actions. To see this further lets me know that a lot of people just don't have no home training. They ain't never been popped in the head or in the mouth for putting their feet on something and their parents pointing after popping them and telling them, your feet are made to walk on. Like, how many of your parents told you that? Like, that was them putting you in check, giving you some home training so you don't go out and do things like this. Now, only exception to the rule is if his hands and arms don't work and he uses his feet for everything, cool. They need to sanitize and clean that afterwards. Or they a better way would have had somebody do it for him. So he's not putting his feet on there, but still and all. If not, hey, sick. Especially in confined environments, cleanliness in public places is crucial, particularly during health concerns. Number 10. Engine on fire. Any aviators out there? Any pilots? What are your thoughts about the huge onslaught of Boeing-related accidents in the past years? Now this is just one of the incidents related to it. On February 20, 2021, United Airlines Flight 328, a Boeing 777-222, experienced a dramatic incident shortly after takeoff from Denver International Airport. Not just any failure, but a rather flashy one. The aircraft's right engine failed leading to parts of the engine cowling, disintegrating, and falling over Broomfield, Colorado. This created a debris field and led to an in-flight engine fire. Remarkably, the pilots managed to secure the failed engine and safely return the plane to Denver, landing without further issues just 24 minutes after takeoff. No injuries were reported on the plane, which carried 231 passengers and 10 crew members, or on the ground. However, the Boeing 777 was actually pretty well known for its long-range capabilities in twin-engine design and had a relatively low accident fatality rate. This specific incident led to increased scrutiny and inspections of aircraft with similar engine types to prevent future occurrences. It was well known for its long-range capabilities. But after several incidents, impressions about these planes have changed. Number 9. Inside the Clouds As a kid, I always thought that clouds were like cotton candy, or at least something similar. But on my first plane ride, that assumption was quickly shattered as I saw the airplane wings slash through a cloud. But apparently, there are instances when clouds have a different texture. Just look at this cool clip showing a plane flying through a cloud in cold temperatures or icing conditions. Pretty awesome, huh? This involves something called supercooled large droplets, or SLD. These droplets are much larger than the typical icing particles and can pose significant hazards to aircraft. When a plane flies through a cloud containing these large droplets, the ice can form not just on the leading edges where de-icing equipment is typically located, but also further back on the wings and other surfaces. This can disrupt airflow and affect the plane's performance. SLDs often form in specific atmospheric conditions like temperature inversions or through a process called collision coalescence where droplets within a cloud collide and combine. It might be pretty perplexing to look at them, but pilots know better than to get distracted by these crystals. Exiting such conditions as soon as they're encountered is often the best course of action for aviators. Number 8. Unexpected Flyer 
Now, here's a rather unexpected occurrence during a flight. This isn't particularly unsettling or scary for most people, right. but I take this over a snake being on a plane any day. <laughs> for those who have a phobia of bats, this is a nightmare come true. The incident occurred on a flight from Delhi, India to Newark, US, when just 30 minutes into the 15 hour journey, a bat was seen soaring around the cabin. This caused quite a stir among passengers, leading to the flight captain deciding to turn around and make an emergency landing. Yep, bats aren't harmful, for the most part, but they can still bite. The plane safely returned to Indira Gandhi International Airport after dumping a significant amount of fuel. Upon landing, wildlife experts boarded the aircraft and found the bat dead in the business class section. This bizarre occurrence is believed to be the first of its kind on an Air India flight. It was speculated that the bat might have snuck onto the plane from a catering vehicle. Number 7. Inside the Cockpit There's a reason why it became a tradition for some people to clap after a plane lands. Sure, planes, as I've said earlier, are now far safer than many years ago. But it's still a huge relief to get off your flight safely, no matter how uneventful and smooth it is. The plane is given credit, of course, but the pilot is also given credit. Pilots are trained to handle all kinds of situations, including the unnerving experience of flying through turbulence. Just look at how this pilot managed to breeze through turbulence, keeping calm and not showing any signs of worry. Pilots undergo extensive training to handle turbulence, a common phenomenon in aviation caused by various atmospheric conditions such as jet streams, mountain waves, or storms. This training includes understanding weather patterns, recognizing turbulent conditions before encountering them, and knowing the aircraft's limitations. While turbulence is typically more of a discomfort than a danger, pilots are trained to prioritize passenger comfort and safety. To navigate through turbulence, pilots rely on a combination of skills and technology. In the cockpit, they have access to instruments and systems that help them navigate through rough air. They may adjust the altitude to find smoother conditions, manage the speed to ensure the aircraft's stability, and communicate with air traffic control for information and assistance. Pilots also continuously monitor weather reports and forecasts to avoid areas of potential turbulence when possible. Despite the challenges turbulence presents, pilots are well equipped to handle it safely. Their training, experience, and access to advanced technology allow them to navigate through turbulent conditions while maintaining the safety and comfort of passengers. Once you see a pilot controlling a plane with turbulence shaking the entire aircraft while looking like it's just another Monday, that's the time you'll see true calmness and professionalism. Number six. I know it's looking like, like he playing a video game up there, but still, I'd be in the back, passed out. Done. Like, passed out. <laughs> that, going through that? And y'all just sit there and y'all are calm, cool, and collect? No, fam. No. Six in the open air. Open doors? Terrifying. Plane panels blowing away? Well, that's another level of horror. You see, plane doors are supposed to open in some circumstances, but the plane panels? They're not supposed to go anywhere. And so imagine the horror of passengers of this Alaska Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 9. Mid-flight, at a cruising altitude of 16,000 feet, a panel decided it had enough of flying and blew off the aircraft, prompting an emergency landing. This incident has understandably ruffled some feathers, leading to the grounding of 171 Boeing MAX jets for safety inspections, primarily affecting Alaska Airlines and United Airlines. Thankfully, our pilots are trained to keep a cool head, even when the wind has blown away parts of their aircraft. This little escapade by the panel has not only caused horror to the passengers who left the flight with a pretty unforgettable experience, but also led to a class action lawsuit against Boeing, with passengers of the flight voicing their concerns over the physical and emotional impact of the incident. <laughs> Number 5. Here's a kicker. Ah, the not-so-gentle pitter-patter of tiny feet on the back of your airplane seat. Now, I'm a pretty forgiving person. But when it comes to someone kicking my seat, I'd ask you to stop immediately. Some passengers find the presence of young children on planes quite challenging, especially regarding the occasional seat kicking episode. In fact, if I was to ever get on a plane, what's the best way to avoid something like this? Do you need to be in first class, away from the majority of the people, or do you need to try to get a seat secured in the back somewhere? Where's the best place to be to try to 
best? I know it's not a hundred percent guarantee you can avoid it, but what's the best place for me to book if, if one day, because they working on me hard about getting on an airplane. If one day I do that, because this, this, this is not going to happen. And this is going to end up probably getting us all removed off of the plane because I'm going to react. A report from Kayak found that 26% of travelers believe it's not okay to bring a baby on board under any circumstances. Okay, in my opinion, toddlers and young ones are okay, as long as the parents are responsible enough to ensure they won't disturb other passengers. For me, crying is fine and toddlers babbling about stuff is okay. But kicking? Nope. For this reason, some airlines have been prompted to consider creating child-free sections. For instance, Corindon Airlines, a Turkey-based carrier, has introduced a dedicated zone for travelers older than 16 on specific routes, aiming to provide a quieter environment for adults yes. and a less stressful experience for parents. Now, what's your take on this? Would you tolerate something like this? No. Or not? Let me know in the comments down below. Number four, anyone lose their cat? As a pet owner, the scariest thing that can happen on a flight is to lose your pet. That's why these circumstances are likely among the most horrific things that have happened to these pet owners. In this first incident, a feline suddenly showed itself and climbed on top of the seat searching for something. Now we all know that this little fella is most likely searching for its owner, or at least somewhere safe that it could go to. Seeing the cat, Many of the passengers immediately began filming. This tabby cat's great escape turned out to be in-flight entertainment for the passengers. Luckily, the tabby was reunited with its owner. But this isn't the only incident of a cat being on the loose. On a United Airlines flight from Dallas to San Francisco, a cat escaped its carrier and decided to explore the cabin. This feline's adventure created quite a stir among the passengers and the flight cabin as well. As they were 37,000 feet in the air, the cat entered the first-class cabin, stirring up more commotion. Luckily, its owner finally revealed themselves and walked up the aisle to finally retrieve his poor pet. In this final incident, a gray and white cat got out of its carrier as well. This happened on a JetBlue flight from Ontario to New York in 2023. A 15-year-old domestic shorthair named Brian escaped from its carrier while traveling with his owners, software engineer Alexis Woodbury and her fiancé Chris Forney. Brian's impromptu adventure began when he escaped from his cat backpack while his owners were asleep. The flight attendant's announcement of, Is anyone missing a cat? We have a large gray and white cat here, woke them up, leading to a humorous yet heartwarming scene of passengers chuckling and clapping as Brian was safely reunited with his owners while being carried by one of the flight crew, as if he's in a walk of shame. Number 3. More Turbulence now here's another terrifying footage of turbulence caught on camera. Again, if you're a first-time flyer and you have a flight soon, I'm here to remind you that this is something completely normal. That doesn't mean you'll experience turbulence on your flight, but if you do, rest assured that you'll be okay. Trust the pilot and the aircraft that's usually built to withstand more than just turbulence. It can be a pretty terrifying experience, though. Hopefully, I won't ever have to go through something like this. Number 2. Derbyshire Ghost Plane. Now this isn't really a clip, but rather a horrifying ghost incident. Perhaps some of you guys might have even heard about it already. The Derbyshire Ghost Plane. Is there anyone from Derbyshire watching? Perhaps you're already familiar with this anomaly. But for those who don't know, let me tell you about it. Now I want you to picture yourself in Derbyshire. You're walking around, and suddenly a shadow looms upon you. You look up, thinking it's just gray clouds covering the sun, and then you see a dark, silent aircraft in the sky. This isn't any plane, but a World War II-era Douglas Dakota type of aircraft. So of course, there are a lot of stories about this alleged ghost plane. There's the story of a massive old airplane that flew straight over a witness's head, completely silent and seemingly heading for a crash, only to disappear without a sound. Others have described seeing aircraft that looked like they belonged in the 1940s, with propellers and green paint. So I guess even machines and planes can also manifest into apparitions? One theory even suggests that these apparitions could be connected to the crash of a Vickers Wellington bomber during World War II, stirring thoughts of a haunted sky where the spirits of the past are doomed to repeat their final fateful moments. However, as with many ghost stories, 
there's a rational explanation lurking beneath the supernatural surface. The RAF has clarified that what people were likely seeing were Hercules Lockheed C-130 aircraft involved in routine training missions across the UK. These planes, with their impressive presence and capability to fly at low altitudes, could easily be mistaken for ghostly apparitions, especially by those not expecting to see such a sight. So whether these sightings in Derbyshire are glimpses into a paranormal realm, or just a case of mistaken identity, well, I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. And now, it's time for today's topic. Flight passengers capture what no one was supposed to see. I'm pretty sure no one was supposed to see this picture, for obvious reasons. First of all, this is dangerous. And second of all, I'm pretty sure there's a law somewhere that you can't recklessly board a plane. We've established that planes have grown incredibly safe over the years, but nothing can stop you from being carried away by the wind should you try to camp on one of its wings. Some claim this photo is a hoax, because surely no one is this reckless, right? It's probably edited by someone who wants to say they pulled off this stunt. However, some netizens express their belief that- Why are we even talking about this photo? This is nowhere near <laughs> real. You can tell this is definitely photoshopped. Someone really pulled this off, perhaps even paid the crew. Why? Internet points and fame, of course. Some people claim that this man might be among the many aspiring vloggers on the internet who often dare to pull off impossible stunts like this for the gram. Well, hopefully this guy reached the ground safely, even after pulling such a stunt. Number one, oxygen masks dropping. Imagine you're napping peacefully during a six hour direct flight. You just had your meal, your favorite playlist is playing in the background, your neck pillow keeps you comfortable, you're on the window seat with no one sitting beside you, and everything is surprisingly comfortable. You're on your way to a deeper slumber when suddenly turbulence rocks the plane. The pilot gives a warning. You're all instructed to strap on your seatbelts and oxygen masks deploy. This all happens in a span of 30 seconds. Sounds horrifying, right? Again, planes today are built for a lot of things. So for the most part, you have nothing to worry about. However, Seeing oxygen masks deployed can mean that the situation is getting quite serious. You see, the deployment of oxygen masks in airplanes is an exceedingly rare event. In 2014, for example, oxygen masks were deployed just over 60 times on commercial flights, and many of these instances were actually accidental. This infrequency makes it extremely unlikely for a passenger to experience this during their flights. And when you do experience it, it's definitely something. The confusion and rush to remember the safety briefing, which you've likely ignored numerous times, can be quite a scene. Why the masks, though? Simply put, if there's a sudden loss in cabin pressure, which could be due to various reasons, the oxygen level at high altitudes isn't sufficient for normal breathing. The masks provide crucial supplemental oxygen to prevent hypoxia, a condition- uh, Not long, though. You got as much air as in those tanks in the back where the brain and other body tissues don't receive enough oxygen. Hypoxia can cause symptoms like nausea and headaches, and eventually lead to unconsciousness, or worse. In such a situation, pilots would typically initiate a rapid descent to a lower altitude, around 10,000 feet, where breathing normal air is safe. The oxygen masks in the cabin supply between 15 to 20 minutes of oxygen, ample time for the aircraft to reach a safer, breathable altitude. It's important to remember that these masks are literal lifesavers. In the event they drop down, you should first secure your own mask before helping others. The reason? You've got about 18 seconds of usable consciousness to get that mask on before hypoxia might set in. Well, hopefully, you'll never have to use this information in your life, but it can't hurt to remember it, right? So which of these videos did you find the most unsettling? Well, I definitely wouldn't want to be on a flight where a kid is repeatedly kicking my seat. I'm young, but not young enough to be immune to motion sickness, unfortunately.